Hello everybody, this is Dana with EssenceOfMe.com and the Freedom Please channel and today I am doing a very hopefully quick video because I want to enter um, Christina Raw Fully, Fully Raw Christina's recipe competition or challenge and um, I'm going to just walk you through the process because my trusty little video camera um, assistant, which is my daughter, is away on her summer vacation. So today I'm going to walk you through what um, people usually love, which is my um, green smoothie. And um, in this video, I'm going to tell you everything that I put in it. And I'm going to also kind of give you a couple of tips that I usually share with people when they are first trying out green smoothies and using smoothies as a part of um, their, um, whether it's wanting to get healthy and having a healthier breakfast, or if you also are wanting to get into a transitioning to a raw diet, which is something that I've been slowly doing um, with successes and failures, but it's something that this is one of the items that helps me through that process. So here is just an image of my green smoothie. Now, you see some gone because I've been drinking it, <laughs> but it is a very creamy and smooth texture. Um, you, you probably can't see it, but the condensation is very cold. And most people would believe and think that because it's cold like this, it has a creamy texture that either you have milk or um, that you have yogurt or even um, that you have ice. And none of those items are in here. So. The, I, the ingredients that I place in here are, you need some sort of leafy green. And for my green smoothie, I put in spinach. You also need some um, frozen berries. Um, this one, I used strawberries. And you can use any berry. Um, I even like sometimes when they have, um, you know, a mixed berry, especially with blackberries, because it makes it very, very sweet. You also need bananas, and I prefer frozen bananas, and I will explain to you why. And that is it. So you need spinach, strawberries, and bananas. Now, to my um, tips on how to prepare this. The first thing, depending on, oh, and the last, cold water. That's it, cold water. And so here we go to the preparation. The first thing that I do is you take your blender and I put about a cup of cold water. Now, for this challenge, she's going to be giving away a Vitamix. And if I had a Vitamix, I probably wouldn't need the water. But since I don't and I have a regular old Target blender, <laughs> we put cold water in it. You put about a cup of cold water and then the first thing I recommend that you do is that you add your leafy green. For me, I use spinach. You add your leafy green and then you blend it until your water is a green, uh, just a green water and that the spinach has been all worked into the water. Here's why I recommend that you do it. Most people are not used to the taste of having that leafy green in your smoothie. When you add that cold water and you blend the, the, the spinach in there first, what I found, at least for me, my kids, my husband, and anybody that you know enjoys my smoothies, is that you will not taste the greens. I've done this with spinach. I've done it with greens. I've done it with uh, uh, lettuce. Yes, lettuce. <laughs> so, um, so I put the cold water and then I put my um, uh, leafy greens. For this um, jar, this is actually not, wasn't all. I fix up a full blender, which is I think it's 64 ounces, and I um, actually have my blender at the cup, and I usually fill it up to about three fourths full of leafy greens, and then I blend them down, and so you would then have just about a cup and a half to two cups of nothing but green water, which looks kind of icky, but it's worth it. Once you have your water blended down with your leafy green, then you can add in your frozen strawberries. If you have just a regular blender, blender, I suggest you use the crush mode of your blender and just crush it a couple of times before going into maybe a liquefy mode on your blender on high. You will see, of course, that it will go from this icky green to almost this um, 
a little closer to what you see here, <laughs> which is not icky green, but a green green. And so you crush it and then you blend it. The next thing that I do is I add my bananas. Now, this is another tip. For your bananas, I actually freeze my bananas. I will um, wait till my bananas get nice and speckled, like you've probably seen Christina talk about the sweetness and, and how to know that your uh, fruit is ripe. I wait till they're nice and speckled, and then I just go to the counter, I open them, and I chop them in half, and I place them in a Ziploc bag, and I place them in the freezer. This is a great tip if you are someone or if you have children that do not like the taste of bananas. And here's why. I believe that adding the frozen banana is what helps give it that nice creamy texture. It also will give it a texture close to having a milkshake without the milk. So you will have the nutrients and all of the great things, um, you know, from the banana without having to add in uh, whether it's some people put yogurt for more texture or milk for a creaminess or any of those ingredients. You can do it just with your frozen banana. In my green smoothie today, I put in two frozen bananas. Now, when I put in the frozen bananas and I actually drink it, I can't really taste the banana. And that's because today I really wanted to taste my strawberries. And I didn't tell you, I put about two cups of frozen strawberries in my smoothie today. And so, if you are a person that you love the taste of bananas, what I usually do then, or if I want to have the banana taste, I put one frozen banana and again, go to put it on crush mode for a couple of pulses, then go to liquefy. And then after I blend that all in, I add in a just a regular room, of course, room temperature banana. And that's going to give you the taste of the banana. So I add that all in. If at any point, because you may be using a regular blender, it becomes too thick, just add just a little bit of water. You don't want to add too much so that you can keep that creamy um, consistency. The other thing that is really great about using the frozen bananas is that inside your smoothie will keep the texture longer versus when you use ice, you have the separation of the ice from your ingredients. But with the frozen banana, I guess it absorbs it. I don't know, I'm not a scientist. I just like drinking it. So there you go. Now, the final tips that I wanna give with this is number one, if you are doing this and um, you have a family um, and maybe, you know, uh, fruits and vegetables and everything aren't expensive now. So some of the tips that I always tell people when they ask me, how do they get going on? making a transition and, and why when I say people ask is because the first thing when people ever ask me how they can begin to eat a healthier diet or eat better or help them lose weight is I always suggest replacing one meal with a smoothie and so that's why I say when people ask that's what I recommend because usually it's tasty it's quick and you will find that you can do that on a consistent basis um, it's also something that I think is really great for people that are runners or if you have to have a high calorie um, diet, instead of having a bunch of junk, you really can um, pack that smoothie. You can add more bananas or you can add other fruits and, vegetable, uh, and vegetables into your smoothie. And so back to my, um, my little turn off down the road. <laughs> If you have a family and you want to do smoothies and not break your budget, if you want to do smoothies for your family, again, and not break your budget, one of the things that I um, highly recommend um, is that you keep on the lookout of when um, the very large bags of frozen fruit are on sale at your local grocery store. I know that um, this is being submitted um, to the co-op, and I'm sure that people receive a lot of fruits and vegetables through the co-op. Um, one of the things, whenever I go to a farmer's market and, and I get that, I will chop them up and freeze them myself. But when, um, throughout the year, if I'm doing it for my entire family, it tends that, you know, it, it's more affordable for me to get those large bags. And so that's the first thing, is look out for those sales on those large bags. Uh, the other thing that I would um, uh, recommend or suggest is um, you know including some other things in your smoothies that are um, a little more affordable. When I do the smoothies for my children, I will add in oranges. 
you just peel the orange and I will add the whole orange in there. And, um, you know, oranges are usually a lot less expensive than strawberries. The last thing is um, um, that sometimes when people are going to transition and save on their budget, they may decide to add yogurt. I know my sister does that. And that is not maybe it's something if you're going raw that you want to add. But usually on any, any given day when I'm doing a smoothie, I have to make four of them. And I myself will drink the entire 64 ounce. My kids will share one and my husband will drink the entire 64 ounce. So I have to make three 64 ounce containers of smoothies and we do this often and so those are the things that I found that have been beneficial the last thing is the bananas um, with the bananas um, you know I get bushels and bushels of them and then I speckle them I chop them up and put them in frozen bags and then I have the fresh ones available and that's something else that I can put in to beef up and and, and fatten up that <laughs> that smoothie without breaking the bank Again, this is Dana with the Freedom Please channel, and I am going to be submitting my green smoothie recipe for the um, Christina uh, Rockley or uh, Fully Raw Christina um, competition for her, well, her recipe competition. If you have any questions, I look forward to interacting with you all in the comments section, as always, and, um, and we will have to place this up and ask you all to vote so i'll let you all know when the voting opens because i don't know how this all works that's crazy so take care thank you so much and have a great day